50 years and we're still alive. You know, we're going to do a little something different uh, tonight. Uh, because it is the 50th anniversary, we're going to go back to that 50th year, although there was... I'm just talking, Susan. That's why I'm talking, waiting for you. So but anyway, um, so we're going to start with the very first song that was recorded in 1965. And, you know, it, was, it went on WPRO. It won a couple of band things, but it really just didn't do anything. And uh, so we're going we're gonna to just go chronologically at the beginning of this thing so you guys see kind of the process and what happened. And you can see how we suffered, you know, because this first song we put out, Bill, Bill and I wrote this song when he was 13 and I was 12. So in 65, you know, now I'm 15, he's 16, we're going to put it out as a record. And we went to school, of course, and told everybody we got a record coming out. The only word we kept out of the sentence was hit, uh, you know, that's the, but we were thinking it for sure. So we're going to start our show off with that song. We don't usually do it. I don't know why, but uh, it's just a little garage band thing written by a 13 and 12 year old. And it's called All I Really Want to Be Is Me. Yeah. Thank you. Apparently we had identity crises right there at that young age. And we're only like, who are we? Where are we going? What's he talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? Paul and I have our own thing going on up here. Thank you all so much for coming. Yes. Thank you, Lord. It's awesome. And then you see Walter, Dan Harari, yeah. these guys were. And Miss Susan. They, they reached out to us and they have been amazing. I feel like the show's over. Uh, but it's, <laughs> wow. been, Thanks for coming. Thank you. We do have a meet and greet. We're going to go there right now. Yeah. <laughs> Now we're going to do that song. And uh, this was another non-hit, 
but it got played on WMCA in New York here, and that was like, when we heard that, we thought, that's it, this is a no-brainer, man, we are going right to the top. Are you guys paying attention here to my I'm talking? I'm listening to every word, Bob. Keep talking. talking. I'm saying very Wait important. Wait a minute, start over. Historical 50th anniversary stuff. So anyway, here's the song we put out after All Your Own Ways Me, and it followed it right into the wastebasket. But we don't care. It's called Most of All. It's called Most of All. This one. <laughs> She's hinting. Yes. Don't don't feed that, all right? I mean, she's one sister with six brothers, all right? We she hasn't shut up in years now because we never listen to her. Now we now we do listen to her. Yes, you do. Keep going, Bob. Okay. So in 19, so Phillips dropped us, and uh, our producer Artie Kornfeld he quit because out of protest. We're all 20 somethings and figure, well, we know what we're doing. And uh, Artie and his friend Steve Duboff wrote a great song. And they put our mom in the group, brought us into the studio. Is this the 47th year ago? <laughs> this is year 50, 49, 48, 47. Yes. No, Paul's right on the map. Hey, Paul, you wonder where our reverb is? He turns it off when we talk. He's a professional. I love it. Oh, that. So here's a song we had. I thought he was getting shot. In 1967. <laughs> oh! It became our first million seller. Mom was stuck in the band. And we were stuck with Mom, but we loved her and we made it all work, you know. So he's sitting in the rain
drum riser to jump off of, so I picked an amp. Here's a song uh, from our brother Bill's catalog. We keep our uh, brothers who have passed, we keep their music alive and well in our show. This is called Deliver Me. <laughs>
how you got there? How so virgin? Is it because you're 12? <laughs> No, I know what that means. That this means that you haven't been by a cow sill. Oh. Am I off? Yeah. I mean, you got the writing. Uh. It says cow sill virgin. You're off. No. Oh. You were looking at it. Yeah. Oh, you didn't know that when you made that T-shirt, right? Then thank you for She's coming. Cute. Thank you for coming to the thank show. Listen, oh. We uh, we christen you. What's your name? We christen you Mary. Who's saying hello? Hello. Who wants to go out? Who wants to be the first? Goodbye. Susan's in your band too, they said. Now, they said well, that's cool. What's she gonna sing? She's gonna sing something like that. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, adorable. All right. Stop with camel. All right, okay. anyway. <laughs> uh, I know we have another song. Oh, you know, we like to do songs from our era. And if you're if you're having a 50th anniversary and anything, you have eras, okay? And that is the E R A, not E R R O. Oh, you have those two. Uh, but this is one of our favorites, so we hope you remember it. We hope you like it. And if you applaud, that's great, because people don't know us and don't know our hit records think we're going to have had uh, this one. And so go ahead and applaud if you like. Me and Bob think all these are our hits. Yeah. The older you get, the more you do them. And those fans I can't don't. remember where my car keys are. I can't remember our hits either. Couldn't find his brush earlier. Well, I woke up this morning. 